wow. One of the featured events at the Silver Skate Festival was the Sculpture Symposium. Snow carvers from around the planet who turned eight by eight foot blocks of man-made snow into fine works. Using man-made snow, courtesy of the snow blowers at Snow Valley, I hear, right? That's right, you know, we have a great partnership with Snow Valley. We go out and do some stuff for them. And they provide us with the snow gun to help manufacture some snow so that we have some nice, clean blocks for the artists to carve with. A cute little Picasso piece. 15-year-old yeah. <laughs> student Lucy Cook of Sherwood Park was the youngest snow carver there. Today, I'm pretty much an apprentice snow carver. I'm learning a lot, and it's really fun. It's a great experience. But this is the first time we've actually worked together, and we're learning each other's language, and, and she's catching on really fast. Snow is actually quite easy. The only problem with it is if you take a chunk off, you cannot put it back on like you can with ice. Snow and ice, and the snow is different everywhere. Each, each festival is different, different times of year. Ice on white, we had plus five, plus six, and it was raining for a while, so <laughs> we get everything. What I think it does come down to is uh, the quality of who's packing the snow, how fresh the snow, if it's manufactured snow. You know, there's so many different variables. International carvers here came from Argentina, Ukraine, Mexico and Italy, all with carefully considered plans. So this is Argentina's? Yes, so basically what a lot of artists do is they create a maquette. She's from Argentina? That, right, that right, team yeah. up there. Ultimately, the silver skate carvings were captured by commissioned photographer Mark Shalafu. I've been photographing this festival. I've been the official photographer for the last eight years for sure. Now, as a photographer, when you're looking at this as subject matter, is there anything, you know, that, that you could pass on to other photographers that would be useful for them? Yeah, dive in there and expose for the details. Once their craft really comes into play and you see all the little detail that they can carve into these, they look fantastic. Yeah. It's, quite, it's quite an amazing thing to behold. And despite the festival's end, this frozen art remains. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.